Hey, welcome, or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? Don't know. What I do know is now I haven't had my hair cut. It's up in a ponytail thing to try and keep me cool because I'm going to have a mini declutter. I know. I know. That banging is the house two doors down. They're having their roof done. We're just going to have to pretend we're in Ibiza and the nightclub's a bit loud. Or as I said when I was filming this look, that we're living above a discotheque and instantly felt my age. Right. Um, when I filmed all of my palettes, what I originally said was I was going to start pulling out palettes start using them and then decide whether I was going to declutter them or not. It's April and so far I haven't touched a single old palette yet because of stuff that I had bought that came in in the New Year's sales that I'd bought New Year's Eve, the low buy stuff that I'd bought in January, February, March, my Brexit killed my low buy, there was five palettes odd that I bought there so I decided right I'm going to do a bit of a mini declutter now when I sorted out my um, palettes with the help of with the help of with this no you just not the box not, not the box not the box with the help of hello darling husband mm -hmm. oh I say mm. um, we sorted them out into a number of different storage options. Can you? Because I can't. The box. I've basically got. Uh, okay, turn it around. Oh, don't let me hold. It. Turn it around. Sorry. I've basically got okay. about three of these full. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna go through this one first, Oops. along with about half of one of the other ones. We're gonna go through one and a half of these because I've got one box of ones that I know. I've used more recently <coughs> the newer palettes, better formula, because some of the older makeup rev palettes were okay when you were first getting into makeup. Now I'm just not patient enough with them to keep building them up. And I've got my goddaughter who I know will appreciate some palettes. And I know that Sophie wants at least one of the palettes that I've already said that I'm going to be decluttering, uh, which is one of the ones from my. Um, Brexit broke my low buy, which is this Essence Salou Paris one, which I loved the colour scheme, but it was difficult to get them to build up mm -hmm. true to pan, so it just wasn't deep enough for me. Love the colour scheme, but I've got it in other formulas, which I don't have to work so hard to build up. But Sophie's not quite so. I want Mar Mars and Jupiter to be able to see my eyeshadows as I am. So this one is going in the box for Sophie, right. along with two of these uh, Pixie by Petra glosses that I don't wear, one in Sparkling Quartz and one in Honey Sheen. She doesn't know she's getting these yet, she will do when she sees the film. <laughs> And I'm also going to give her, because I'm just not using these, I bought these. These are the NYX Holographic Halos. They are, you can use them either as cream eyeliners, or you can then spread them out and use them as like a cream eyeshadow, like a one and done. And I've got that in Crystal Vault, which is the gunmetal. I've got it in Killing It, which is this gorgeous tealy green. And I've got it in cotton candy, which you know me is the purple, but I'm just not using them. Um, they're not. I mean, when I saw the pictures on the side of these, I thought, oh, they're going to be really. But it's it's quite difficult to get it. If I wasn't doing an eye look with it and I was just doing the liner, then maybe. But they're just not strong enough to show up against some of the eye looks that I do. So. Sophie's getting those as well. She doesn't realise it yet, but again, she'll find that out when she sees this film. Are the boxes as big as they look on the camera? Hmm? 
when you put them right up to the camera, it looks like the box is a giant and your head is very small. No, darling. It's, <laughs> to quote Father Ted, these are small, those are far away. So, these are small, but look bigger at the camera. Worst Irish accent ever. I apologise to all of my Irish viewers. That was my homage to Father Ted. Right. Let's get it started in here. Right. Fortune favours the brave revolution. I got this. Still got the little brush in it. Look at that. I got this because at the time I was like, oh yeah, look at that. Greens and purples and and then some like neutrally peachy ones. And I got it because I really, and I, I, when it arrived, I don't know whether it's because they weren't as saturated as they looked on screen, or whether it's because when you got them on your eyes, there wasn't a huge amount of difference between them. But for me, I think I've used this three times, so that can go into the Hubby's currently putting hand cream on when he knows I'm going to be passing him oh, things. As I said, that's going to be decluttered. This is Flawless. I've already given Flawless 4 to Sophie, because I know she wanted that one. This is the Flawless Ultra Professional. And is pretty much every single Morphe palette you've ever seen. Um, I picked it up because again there was a green, there was a red, but I'm just, I'm just not touching it. So, declutter, aren't I doing well? I'm so proud of myself. I didn't expect to be decluttering this many to be honest. I, I have a, I'm a Tory and we don't like letting things go, basically. Right, this is the Maxine, Ma Maxine Cha, sorry Maxine, I'm terrible at saying your name, um, Beauty Legacy Palette. This is the kind of all-in-one, so you've got your bronzer, your blush, your highlight. I have to go very lightly with these, but it's fine. And then kind of three different eye looks, so your browns, your pinks, and then like your bluey, bluey browny ones. Um... This is great as a travel palette, as I said, like a, you know, you've got all of it in one, but I've got my Tarte Graveyard Girl palette and I prefer the formulas in that one to the formulas in this. Don't get me wrong, this is a really beautiful palette and it works fantastically, but given the choice of the two, I prefer the Tarte formula. So this one I'm going to declutter but I know exactly who I'm going to give that to. I am going to give that to my mate Michaela who is Irish and will probably slap me for that Irish accent. So I'm going to give that to her because she's slightly deeper in complexion than I am. So, so, so she can use those bronzers and blushes to their full extent without having to kind of hold back like I do. Right. Uh, now I've already given one of these away to Sophie. These are the Life on the Dance Floor Party. This is the After Party and Sparklers. I'm being attacked by my tart shape tape. Right, this is After Party, which looks like that. See again, these two rows, absolutely me. These two rows, not so much. And I've got these colours in other palettes. This shade actually arrived broken, but it's such a pigmented black, I wasn't worried about that. I think... I think I might pass that on to Michaela. Right, this is the Revolution Sparklers, which is the black sparkly one. I'd kind of... Right, darling, see how that... Pit that palette looks. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's sparkling. That's mean, the yeah. kind of that's the kind of flooring I want when we get the bathroom <coughs> redone. Oh, okay, you can tell me about so, that. That's the kind of flooring that I want in our bathroom. But now I know. Nice to know. Ah, this is the colourful one. This one I am going to keep because hello, colour. Wait, isn't that just me? Isn't that just me? That's a keep. 
So, what? Um, yeah, stack it on. Yeah, stack it there for a minute because we haven't actually started okay. on this box. Right, yet. Out of the way. There we are. Right. I'm now going to go through the box. some of my chocolate bar palettes because I got a lot of them, and I'm not using anywhere near all of them. So, I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got twelve here. I want to try and declutter at least half of them if I can. Can't believe I just said that. Breaking news, Sting. Oh, it's about the 1974 Birmingham pub bomb bombings. Something I can read about later. Right, this is the chocolate rose gold. Uh, which looks still has sponge tip applicator in. I will keep that because those are awesome for picking up glitters. Yes. Uh, this, this is the chocolate rose gold, which as you can see is kind of like a Huda rose gold. And I think I think Sophie would like that one. So that can go into Sophie's box up here. Where next? This is one of the, I think this is the only one that's got like a satin finish rather than a, a gloss finish to this. This is the Golden Bar, which looks like that. Uh, that is Sophie's colours, but I think she'd prefer the rose gold one. What's this one like that I gave Michaela? Yeah. I think I might put that aside for Caitlin, my eldest goddaughter. This one is one that I've actually bought for Caitlin. This was one of her birthday presents. <clears throat> this is the chocolate and peaches. I am going to keep hold of this one. So can you stack that in there as well, Donna? I'm keeping that one. Oh, so in this one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the first chocolate bar palette I ever bought. This is Pink Fizz. Yes, I know, most unlike me. Now, a lot of these pans have gone hard pan, as you can see, which I will have to sort out before I pass it on to anybody. But I am going to pass this one on. And I think Caitlin would like that. Uh, chocolate Love. Looks like this. Um, I'm going to pass this one on. A lot of these shades I haven't even used. Um, I think I'll give that one to Michaela. I'm doing so well, I'm so proud of myself. <clears throat> this is the Lemon Drizzle palette, and I know I'm keeping hold of this one. Because this one reminds me of my honeymoon, because we had lemon drizzle cake. Um, on our honeymoon, and when we were driving, when I was driving around Ireland, if I was getting a bit of a sugar dip, hubby would feed me lemon drizzle cake. So, crumbly drizzle cake. Crumbly lemon. Yes, I ended up with more crumbs down my cleavage than I did in my mouth half the time. Right, so that's that's a keep, please. Uh, this is the violet palette, which doesn't actually have as much purple in there as I wanted, and part of me really wants to keep this, but. I've got better purples than this, so Sophie, Sophie can have that one. I'm doing so proud of myself, I've only mm. kept two of them so far. This is the Galactic palette, oh yeah I'm keeping this one, I haven't played with this one anywhere near enough yet. This is the silver front, so I'm keeping that one baby. Eat that one. Uh, this is one of the ones that I got in the 
Chocolate Heart Christmas gift set. And this is the peanut butter cup. But you can now buy these. They've now released them due to customer pressure. I knew they would. Uh, and that looks like this. And I think I think I'm gonna hang on to this for a minute because I I do quite like that colour scheme, so that's a keep. How many of these have I kept so far? One, Four. two, yeah, it's the fourth one, I believe. I only had to keep two more. <laughs> no, no, if you don't count. No, 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 I'm counting one. the chocolate bars. I wanted to get rid of half of the chocolate bars. Uh, this is the red velvet chocolate bar, which when I just in the outside of it, because they didn't show you the inside of this one, the chocolate peanut butter cup. Or this one, which is the praline one. These are all in the in the heart, um, along with the bronzer, the heart bronzer, uh, which I'm keeping, by the way. When I saw the outside of this, I was like, "Oh, it's going to be reds and whites and creams and pinks and oh." And then you opened it up, and it's like, really, really, really. And I know Sophie was lusting after this when I put the tutorial up with it. So Sophie, you can have this one. Okay. As I've just spoken about it, this is the Praline. This is actually a face palette. This is now also available um, <clears throat> on its own. Uh, I've literally just swatched this because... That bronzer is going to be way, way, way too deep for me. So is this shimmery bronzer here. The blush I could probably get away with light-handed. This I could probably get away with light-handed. And obviously this highlight would look fantastic on me. But in all honesty, I'm probably not going to use this. And I don't want it sitting there and going off. And again, as it's a darker bronzer, I'm going to give this one to Michaela. Kayla doesn't know I'm doing this. She's in for a shock when she watches this film. Right, last one, the mint chocolate bar, which well, my brain says I can still smell mint chocolate. Can you still smell mint chocolate in that? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah, so this, the scent does wear off a little bit. Uh, and that looks like this, which again, I do like it. But there is only really three greens in there. There's a lot of browns in there again. And I've got much, much better greens. So I think I think we're gonna give this one to Michaela. Oh my god, I did so well. Yay. I did amazingly well. Yay! That was yes. a terrible impression. Yes, yeah, a terrible impression of um rat fink. Right, um if you can Open these up for me. I now need to. Right, move it forward. Yes, dear. There we are. Move it forward. Right. <laughs> there we go. It's alright, you have to open the top and then slide the top inserts open. It's a Do bit of a bugger. the brushes? Yeah, because I want to grab a couple of those brushes out of there. Right, okay. Um, so these are all your keepers, right? The yeah. I'm holding as well. Okay. Um. Right, I'm going to grab this. Struggling. I'm going to grab this brush out to use with one of my powders. I think the rest of the brushes are okay to stay in there for a minute. Right, can you just start passing me some palettes please honey? Like this one? Yep, yeah, like this one. This is the Balm Balm Jovi Rockstar palette. And what I like about this is the cover is in two halves. So the cream, lip and cheek colours are kept out of the way when you are using the powder parts. Um, I got this reduced because half the pans were in crooked as you can see. Um, crooked Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing films with you because you always make me laugh. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to give that to Sophie. I rarely touch it. Uh, next one, please, darling. Oh, okay. What about this? Is that a palette? That is a palette. This is one of the Revolution eggs from last year. What sorcery is this? If I can get it out of this bloody box, I'll show you. Oh. Look. <gasps> it's a shiny egg. It's a shiny egg. And when it opens up, you have got eyeshadows in one side mm. and highlights at the bottom. Very exciting. Again, I picked this up because you know me in purples. But I have now got much, much better purples. And that egg is so cute. It's the unicorn egg. And I know that Caitlin loves unicorns. So that has got to go to my goddaughter. Absolutely. Next. Ah. Yeah, no, I'm going through this quick. Come on. Not Paul Cicero. <sighs> This is the Eyes Like Angels palette. These are the 32 pan palettes from Revolution, which I really don't use small pan palettes anymore. Or this number of shadows. Um, so that can go into the declutter box, please, darling. Oh, Do you want to hand me a few because otherwise we're going to be here all day? Oh yeah, I mean, Passing me them one at a time is not being very... Right, thanks. Oh. There we go. Oh. Right. Right enough. For the minute. This is my Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless 2 with Ciate. Which looks like this. To be honest, I picked that up mainly for the greens, and I've got better greens than that now. I've barely used this, but I think Sophie might like that one. Ah, oh, now this is my Prima Pressed Glitter Shades, so I'm going to keep hold of those because they are still, yeah, they're still soft, I can still use those. Excuse you. Sorry, can't help it. <laughs> this is my Coastal Sense A Jungle Raw palette. This is the only Coastal Sense palette I've got, actually. Um, but I really love that colour scheme. So, I'm going to keep that one, I think, for the minute. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I know exactly who's going to want this one if I declutter it. This is the Dia de los Muertos. The Day of the Dead palette. The only thing that annoys me is that they've not put this gorgeous sugar skull on the palette. You've got to keep the box for it. And this one looks like this um, no I'm gonna declutter it I know Mrs Duck wants that one so Mrs Duck you've got it this is the welcome to the pleasure dome not to be mistaken for a um, Frankie goes to Hollywood album This one looks like this. Again, very pretty, but there's a lot of browns in there, which I'm not using. So that can go into the declutter box. This is my Unicorns Unite palette. Is that like Avengers Assemble, but with unicorns? Yes. All the unicorns have magic powers. They'd need to adapt the shield, though, so the unicorn could hold it, because it couldn't hold it with a hoof. Surely it would slot onto their horn. 
This is the kind of philosophical conversation that we have of an evening. This is the Unicorns Unite palette, which... No, I'm not going to use it. That can go into the declutter pile. Chris? Oh, declutter. Um, I've got you a new stack. That's hardly a stack, there's only four. Okay, well, depends how many you like in the stack. Quite a few. Uh, I think that's a palette. Yeah, it is. Uh, there are palettes in there. Three. Thank you, that'll do. Right, this is my flossy sunflower palette, which is the dupe for the Kylie bronze palette, which I haven't touched that since I got blood sugar, because why would I when I've got blood sugar? So I think that one can go to Sophie, because I know that she liked that one when she saw it. This is my uh, new look palette in nude, which is pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, I've used it about three times, so that can go into the uh, declutter pile. Mm -hmm. This is my NYX Avant Pop Art Throb palette. Now I saw Jessica and Marlin use this, which makes me want to use it one more time before I decide whether I'm getting rid of it or not. So I'm going to keep hold of that one, put it up here into my I want to use it soon. This is my Pop Feel palette. If I can get the blasted box. Do you know what? I'm just going to rip the box. Oh. Right, that can go into the bin, which you uh -huh. moved so I can't reach it. This is the Pop Feel palette, which, as you can see, I have never touched. It is all shimmer. Uh, Stick that in the declutter pile, please. Yep. This is my Technic Electric, <coughs> which looks like this. It's pretty, but again, I've really not really used it, so that can go. This is the I don't use her on my channel anymore palette. Looks like that. Um, they're not bad shadows actually. I might hang on to that just for a little while. If I, Next time I do a declutter, if I haven't used this then it's going. But for the minute it can stay. This is my Essence All About Roses palette. Really, really pretty mauve tones. Uh, I think Sophie would probably like that one. Let's stick that in there. Ah, this is my One and Only Makeup Forever palette. This is Artist Shadows 2. And it looks like that. And I'm not getting rid of that yet because I've only played with it a few times. Too Faced and Nikki Tutorials. Power of Makeup. Nikki Tutorial. Which looks like this. I bought it to support Nikki. And because wedding dress colour, bridesmaid dress colour. I went through a phase where if a palette had purple and teal in it, I bought it. Regardless of what other colours were in the palette, I bought it. Um, these blushes are beautiful. Really, really beautiful. As you can see, um, the Chocolate Soleil bronzer is actually light enough for me. Champagne Truffle highlight is beautiful, but... I don't know if you remember when this first came out, there was a whole hoo-ha around it because the one that Nikki Tutorials had and swatched 
These shadows were buttery and creamy and beautiful. And then when you bought them, they were dry and chalky. And to be honest, the majority of these, I struggled to get them to show up on my skin. Um, this bottom row is okay. And these two at the side are okay. But quite honestly, these four here, just... Well, you can see Sugar Coated has got a hard pan on it where I've tried so hard to get it to build up. Um, and that was one of the things that Jeffree Star leaked, that they'd... Um, not only did they keep her waiting for her commission for it, but they also screwed her over by using a different... either a different factory or to a different quality to the one that they sent her to swatch. So what she signed off on is not what people were buying and it was her that got the backlash, not Too Faced. Um, held on to this for a long time but I think I can let her go. And I know Sophie wanted to try this. So Sophie's box is really starting to fill up quite a bit now. Oh, I'm going to get to the karaoke this weekend and she's going to go, oh my god, what on earth have you got there? This is my 190 Freedom palette. Uh, this was one of the brands that was under the Tan Beauty umbrella, which then became Revolution. Um, and they got rid of Freedom and started to do Makeup Obsession instead, I think. This is the um, House of Glam Dolls, and you've got like a little thing showing you different looks that you could do. Uh, Glam Academy, this is the fairy doll look. And this looks like this. Um, again, I was annoyed because these cream shades up here, there's nothing to stop the powders from getting into them. Literally, I think I've only just swatched this. I don't even think I've ever used it. There's, there's, there's shades in here that don't even look touched. So, that can go into the declutter box. And then I need another pile, please, darling. Oh, you have another pile. Thank you. Oh, oh I've got a crap ton of these floating around. I bought a load of them. These are the... Um, my sign palettes that Revolution did. This is Virgo. And the beauty of these, the whole the whole selling point of these was you have an eyelid primer here, two brow colours here, three lead shades here, and a highlight. So that you've got an all-in-one, stick it in your bag, you're done kind of thing. Um, they are actually really good shadows, but I don't want really to use them that much. I picked up Virgo because of these two colours in it, which looks stunning. But, like I said, I just... I don't want really to use them, so that can go... declutter. Oh, I'm doing so well, I'm so proud of myself. <coughs> this is the first Tarte palette I ever bought myself. This is the Tarte Lit Tease. And it's a wee little palette like this, look. Which still smells like chocolate. Chris, smell. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It smells like chocolate. The Tarte are not exactly good with their reflective packaging to show you, but you can see you've got like a brown set here and then a more mauve tone set here. Um, Tarte were on my shit list. They're currently on my I'm watching you list, which means I will, you know, I've started to use like my Tarte Shape Tape again in tutorials. Um, I think I can probably let this one go, I think. And I know uh, that's one that Sophie wanted to try it so so I can have that. This is my NYX Cosmic Metals um, shadow number one. 
And these are all shimmers. Really pretty, but I rarely use it, so Sophie can have that one. I'm so proud of myself, I'm being so good, letting so much stuff go. Right, this is one of my Tarte palettes. This is Ladies' Night. Oh, yes, it's Ladies' Night, and the feeling's right. Yes, it... <clears throat> this is one that I do take when I go and stay overnight anywhere, because um, bronze, blush, highlight, and shadows so um i love the smell of this this is one of my favorite blushes this is glammed blush which is just perfect for pale ass biarches like myself so i am keeping that one i really should have kept the box for it because being round it just rolls mm. everywhere this is another one of my round palettes. This is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. But I was sensible enough to keep the box with this one. This is pretty much all shimmer except for Myth, which is this one here. But it is a great... I mean, you, you know, regular viewers know I'll do an all shimmer look. It doesn't bother me. But this is a great companion palette to that ladies' night, which has got all the, the sort of... Uh, neutral shimmers you're going to want and then you can bung a, a pop of colour on and it's got a, they've both got really good large mirrors in them as well see so this one's going nowhere because I've not been playing with my tart ones because they've been on my shit list and I've really missed them I mentioned this palette earlier this is the graveyard girl swamp cream palette this is going nowhere but I will show you what it looks like. This is Hubby's favourite one because when he saw it, he's like, oh my god, it looks like wood! Which pleased him greatly. Remember? Oh, yes. I'm standing on, on wood. wood. On wood. <sighs> That's from an episode of Ghost Adventures if you're wondering what on earth we're going on about. This has got believe in yourself, love yourself, and embrace your individuality across the top of the mirror. And this is what it looks like. This is what I was saying about the Maxine one. Um. So you've got like an orangey based and then a neutrally based and then a pinky based eyeshadow look with bronze blush highlight. So of the two, this bronze and blush are closer to my skin tone than the ones in the Maxine palette. So it makes much more sense that I keep this one rather than the Maxine one. I also prefer the shadow formula in this palette. So this one is going nowhere. Have you got that part for me please baby? Oh yeah. Yeah give us that big box that's going to be a difficult one. Right this I don't think I've even used yet. I bought this just after my mum died. I was having a mini breakdown if I'm honest. This is the Tarte Magic Star palette collector's set. Looks like something from the Arabian Nights, doesn't it? And you kind of you pull oh. the little ribbon here, which lifts up this top part, which opens out, and you can see you've got a highlight and a sex kitten liner. And then this side opens out and you've got a blush with a tart lipstick. And then this side opens out, you've got another blush with another lipstick. And the bottom opens up and you've got a bronzer with a mascara. And then you've got all of these colour options. You've got a brown row, an orange row, a, a mauvey row, a greeny row and a bluey row. Can this is ask, perfect. Oh, those paper things no. that you do your hand and fold out when you flip the little bits up. <laughs> no. But, I mean, you can see this is the perfect palette to take travelling because you've got so many options. Um, admittedly, if you're deeper than an NC sort of 25, I'm pretty much sure that this bronzer will not show on you. 
as you can see it's 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 not going to show on you but that's an ideal travel palette and it's beautiful and even in the sale with import tax and everything it cost me over 80 quid so that little one is going uh, nowhere next part please baby uh, so glad he's helping because I would never be able to get through oh, all this. No. For one thing, I can't lift up that box when it's full like it is. And for another, my back wouldn't let me keep bending into it and back up again. Ickle boxes. Ickle boxes. Ickle boxes. Gone completely mad. Yep. This is another one of the my signs. This is Libra. So I bought a lot of these. They were only about five quid at the time when I bought them. Again, I got this because it's got purple in it. But rarely use it. So that can go into the declutter box. This, oh, that, so he's busy over there reading stuff and just completely oh, ignoring me. Yeah. These are lime crime super foils which a lot of people had problems with because their pans started to get mouldy i've got no idea whether mine have gone mouldy or not so i've got lucid and dream no nope, these still seem to be both okay uh, what sort of colors are they right that's that's Lucid and that's Dream oh yeah I might have to keep that one I think I might have to keep that one that one's, that one's pretty and then we got a Crystal Halo I can see a halo halo which is silver and rose gold I think I was hanging on to this for the silver, but I've got a couple of good silver pigments now. I've got a good silver one in the Jeffrey Thirsty palette, and I've got a good silver pigment that I've got on my lids today, which is the coloured rain one. So I think I'll give this one to Sophie. This one is Squad Goals. And I'm checking each one for mould before I even think about swatching them. No, they're both okay too. Ooh. As you can see, that's stunning actually. But I'm not using them very much and I've kept one so I think Michaela can have this one wow I've been so good let me just clean my fingers off otherwise I'm gonna get a mess everywhere gonna get a mess everywhere uh -huh. Messy, messy, Pratt. Right. Little musical interlude for you. Another one of the my signs. This one is Scorpio. Any sense in the theme yet? It's got purple in it. <laughs> I might give that one to Michaela, actually. She might quite like that one. This is my sleek eye divine in all the fun of the fair again I get really annoyed with sleek because I mean these new ones now actually have the name on the front but I wish they would put whatever design is on this on this because if you keep them all in the same you never know what you're picking up and this is a pastel palette but I have just recently bought this makeup obsession. Oh, 
and stick my fingers straight in it. Well done, Ange. And drop it. I am doing so well. I bought this Dream with a Vision palette recently. Um, I mean, this does have a green in it, which this doesn't. But Blush Tribe did say they were going to do a pastel palette. So I think I'll give this one to Caitlin. Next. Next. I'll be sitting down there looking up at me like, now what? What's next? What's You're happening? like an interested cat. <laughs> what are you doing, Hoovin? <laughs> what are these things you are playing with, Hoovin? <laughs> Is that all the little boxes now? Where's my string? Is that all the little boxes? <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's being daft. <laughs> I think so, yes. Oh look, Taurus. This one I actually bought because it was my sign. My actual sign. I am a Taurian, which apparently means I'm loyal, sensuous and generous. Generous. Apparently. But I was really disappointed to see that I got brown and orange. Really? Really though? Although that is very much Sophie colours. I might let go have that one. Aquarius, which is the, uh, I think it's your brother's style sign, isn't it? Aquarius? The uh, February, yeah, I think February. Apparently he's creative, individual and thoughtful. Well, yes, he is in his own ways. This is actually really nice. Mm. This has got the, the sort of the greens in it. And the, mm, I might give that one to Michaela. That would really suit her colouring. Ah, right, now, these two are the original Awesome Foils from Revolution. This was their redo of it, the Flawless Foils. Now the Awesome Foils are indeed awesome, and I've got it in Black Diamond and what's that one called? Emerald Goddess. Keeping both of those. This one, I could not get this to work. So do you know where this is going? Duck. Ah. I got it in the bin. <laughs> yes, she's a plain rug, we're not wasted. Uh, can I have the last few things up, please? There's a couple of bits hiding under here. Yes. See, this is what I was saying about the sleeks. It's just like makeup red, it's impossible to know what you are if you don't keep the boxes. Keep those in that because they're in that for a reason. Is that it? Yeah, we got some minerals. Uh, yeah, uh, cardboard info, cardboard. Do you want to start popping these back in then, please, on their on their ends, so I can see what they are? Yeah. This is again somebody I don't mention on my channel anymore. This is the Huda Beauty Summer Highlight Palette. I got this from a reseller site, and I think it could be a knockoff, um, because swatches that I've seen online don't match the swatches that I've done with this. It's a nice enough palette though, but as I said, even if it was genuine, I don't use Huda on my channel, so Sophie can have that one. Why don't you use Huda on your channel? Uh, for a number of reasons. For one thing, she claims to be cruelty free, but she sells mink eyelashes. Claims that the mink has been obtained um, ethically by by combing the mink. Does you ever tried to comb a mink? It's like trying to wash a cat. They don't like it. So you ask the mink nicely? No, no. They bite and spit. Okay, you know what I'm like when I'm in a bad mood and I'm screaming at somebody who doesn't know how to use a roundabout? Yes. That's a mink on a good day. Well, minks shouldn't use roundabouts, so I quite agree. Anyway, we bought my passing there. And also, the other reason I don't like her is because her whole ethos, all the way through, yes. has been desert. Everything... No, stack them up on their end, please, darling. Like yeah. Um, her whole ethos has been desert. You've got the desert dust palette. She's always marketed things of these are the colours that you see as the sun goes down in the desert or as the sun rises in the desert. 
Then she produced her baking powder. Hot, hot and bake like the desert. You would think that would be what she would do to keep it in theme with her brand. Yeah. But no, she decided to copy Beauty Bakery, whose mm -hmm. whole ethos, they're a small indie brand, much smaller than she is, mm -hmm. and their whole ethos has been producing stuff like this. This is their foundation. And it's in a cake mix box. I actually thought that was a cake mix. I'm quite glad you've clarified that that wasn't. No. <laughs> and they've had like flour setting powder and they do sugar, um, icing sugar, highlights and things. So their whole, their whole marketing strategy has been 1950s bakery. All of a sudden, for her baking powder, instead of baking hot in the desert, she decides to do 1950s bakery, mm -hmm. calling it baking powder. Oh no, I'm sorry. You don't just you don't just take a smaller indie company's whole branding and decide to use that because it's worked so well for them and you've had some scandals. And her first palette, the rose gold palette that she released, yeah. there were a lot of problems with um, trying to get some of the shimmers onto your eyes. So she said to people, that's it, I'm getting rid of the rose gold palette, you're never going to be able to get it again. So everybody rushed to buy it, that still wanted it. And then six months later, she re-released a revamped better version. So all these people that had bought it went, well if you'd said you were withdrawing it because you're making a new one, I would have waited for the new one. So all those things in told, can told I, I'm just, <coughs> no, Huda has no place on my channel. Ooh. That was a longer explanation than you Sorry, were expecting, wasn't it? I didn't it? expect a rant. I was going to hide under the table. I don't cancel people from my channel <laughs> without very good reason. <sighs> Sleek Eye Divine Acid 570 palette. Acid. Which, yes, that's exactly what I thought. Acid! Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I've got some bright pigments. I think I can let this one go. Because I've got a green and I've got a purple. And I've actually got Blush Tribe named a pigment after me, which is an orangey red, which is beautiful. Um, I think I can let this one go. This can go into into the uh, what's the one I'm looking for? The brown box. That's that's the description of the box. The re uh, uh, there's a <coughs> declutter box. There right. we go. <sighs> Fibro fog. Uh, this is another eye divine. This is Sparkle Two Eight Nine Five, which, as the name gives you a clue. All got sparkles in it. Again, very pretty. I think I'll give that one to Michaela. I am doing so well here. And this is one that I kept the box for this time because I got so fed up not knowing what they were. This is the Eye Divine Ultra Max version two darks seven three one, which looks like that. Very beautiful, but I bought it mainly for these purples and. I've got purples in other palettes that I use more. This was oh, actually, I thought Re in my Hasina 2 was unique to my collection, but I think that Orbit from this might actually be a dupe for it. Let me check. This is my. This is going nowhere. This is my Hasina 2. I'm just going to go into Re. Oh no, it is different. It's a brighter version of it. I thought it was a unique colour to my collection. Uh, do I want to keep hold of this one? Uh, no, I think this one can go to Michaela as well. I'm going to clean my fingers off in the back of my hand before I make a complete mess again. And we're down to the last couple that I'm going to do. I've still got like a box and a half to go through. But for the minute, the ones that I'm 
these are before my my growing obsession with makeup <clears throat> began when I only had like two palettes there was a couple of revolution palettes that I loved so much I thought if I hit pan on these that's gonna be terrible um, I better get another one just in case people I've only ever hit pan on the modern renaissance and that's because I only had the modern renaissance and the revolution neutrals versus neutrals so these two have never been touched this is the love the revolution palette oh it's still stuck see just proof I haven't opened it it is still stuck which has got three colours this side three colours this side and a highlighter in the middle so that can go into a giveaway mm. and this dead or alive beautiful palette this one and I used it an awful lot but still haven't hit pan on any of these mm. shadows look at these aren't they stunning mm. So I think this can go into a giveaway as well. Now, into I, giveaway. Into giveaway. I originally said I was going to do a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers and Revolution produced their version of Icy Betch, which they haven't done. Mm -hmm. However, I have noticed they've now got a palette out which is blues and greens. So, um, I'm, I'm going to say that is the Icy Betch palette. And I'm going to buy that after my birthday. And once I hit 500 subscribers, I originally reset it and said 1,000. But once I hit 500 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. Mm -hmm including these two totally unused palettes and the blue and green palette that is the revolution version of icy betch right this film has gone on quite long enough there's been a lot of silliness there was a rant in the middle which even i wasn't expecting to be doing um did you want to oh sorry there's a box here yes i'll close the box Yes. The magic box. The magical box. And it's got a box. And me stopping <laughs> closing another box. Hubby, um, I, I think it's the Welshness of me because I sing almost everything. Hubby, Hubby sings lots of things. Uh, to quote his brother, he's got a song for everything, hasn't he? He never used to be this cheerful. What have you done to him? So, hello. Thank you so much to Hubby for help. Much appreciated, oh, Ra. Right, dog. Glasses are slipping. Oh, they always do. Yeah. So, that's mm. it from us for this film. Uh, when I eventually get around to doing more declutters, because I want to declutter my foundations next. Oh. And pass some of those on. So, that's it from us for now. Uh, don't forget to check you're still subscribed, because YouTube do keep deleting people. And all that's left for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous. Huh? And I, possibly we, will see you we? next time. We will? Maybe. Maybe the camera. Hello. No, bye. Bye. Bye for now. Bye for now. Spook too spooky. <laughs> A little bit Halloween. -ish. A little bit Halloween. -ish. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> <laughs> you nutcase. I love um, you. Are we still filming? Uh, yeah, I need to stop filming now. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll be gone. Mm -hmm.